The bison statue that stands at the southwest corner of the courthouse was rededicated on Monday after months of restoration. His name is George. He's named after George Winter, who was a local artist that came here before Indiana was a state, because this is history again. We've got to go circling back. Um, and being an artist, it was fun to kind of explore an artist. Winter painted images of the Potawatomi and Miami Indians and landscapes along the Wabash River. His documentation is really some of the most significant uh, visual information we have about the, the First Nation people that were here at the time. Amick and her collaborator LaDonna Vohar began working on the statue last October. It was damaged from a windstorm, so um, it had some, some structural damage, so they uh, Took, this county took him down and brought him to my house and he lived in my garage for a little while while we did repair work on him. The project used an automotive clear coat supplied by Defau Chevrolet in the restoration process that should protect the statue for years to come. We wanted George to look uh, as real as possible and um, I, I believe that we managed to do that. I wanted to bring George to life with his beautiful brown eyes. Amick says the project was personal for her as one of her great-grandfathers was a signer of the original Indiana Constitution. I love Indiana and I love history and um, it kind of and I love art so it combined all of those things that I'm just really passionate about. George the Bicentennial Bison is now on display again at the southwest corner of the courthouse lawn. Dave North, Star City News, downtown Lafayette.